Welcome back, Splunk Enthusiasts. This video is brought to you by Lame Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy, where we help you master the tools and techniques to become a Splunk Pro. In today's session, we're diving into the world of SPL, or Splunk Processing Language, to help you sharpen your skills and become a more powerful data investigator in Splunk. We'll be working with the BOTS version 3 dataset, Boss of the SOC, a realistic, hands-on data set full of cybersecurity challenges that's perfect for exploring real world scenarios and honing your search skills. Are you ready to level up your Splunk skills? In this tutorial, we dive deep into one of the most commonly asked questions in Splunk SPL. When should you use the where command versus the search command in your queries? Knowing the difference between these commands is crucial for effective filtering and optimizing your search results. We're going to learn the use cases and limitations for both commands. Identify the primary functions and the syntax differences between both and when you get better performance from which one. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned Splunker, this tutorial will sharpen your querying skills and make sure you're getting the most out of your data. Let's start Splunking smarter. You're following along in this video series or you watch the, the next videos, we are going to be very Splunk centric. We're going to be using the bots data source, etc. But in this particular video, we are not going to spend nearly as much time in Splunk because this is not really focused on a cybersecurity view and a non cybersecurity view. This is just understanding when to use what and where. And it was very difficult to come up with use cases specifically for uh, cybersecurity and non-cybersecurity uh, use cases. So we're just going to do it this route. Just understand that search, its primary goal is to filter events by adding conditions that match specific field values. And the where, it applies more complex conditional logic. That's the big one. If you're using condition statements, that's when you want to use the where. It's best for numeric comparisons, calculations, or in some cases, you can see a little bit of advantage if you have fields that were created after your initial search to be able to search through them. That's another place where where can come into uh, place. Some examples, when to use the search. Again, direct text matches. If we look here, the index spots three, when we're looking for user equals admin, we're filtering for events where a user field has a specific value. That's a perfect case for the search command exact matches on specific fields. Same concept here. Again, we're looking for a specific action of failed login. You can use wildcards in there, etc., or multiple simple field filters, status equals 200, user equals guests, etc. For where, we're looking at numeric comparisons. Here, we can see, for example, we got a response time. Seconds is response time divided by 1,000. And now we're looking where response time seconds is greater than 2. This is what we mean by conditional statements. Greater than, less than, greater than, equal to. That's a perfect case to use the where command. Here, we've got multiple complex where. We've got bytes greater than a number and bytes is less than a number. And so we can filter when it fits between these this range. Another example would be, I'm gonna give five examples where I fill the where command and you can do the timer on it. You can test them. You can run it under search and time. You're gonna get better performance. Another thing about where is it has a lot more functions built into it. We'll show some of those functions in a minute, but here we're gonna do where strip time and we're gonna pull out the time and we're gonna get the hour, it's greater than or equal to nine, and strift time is greater than or less than or equal to 15. So we're basically looking at when the time fields are between nine to five. Great example when to use the where command. Filter based on failed logins. Here is a command, is not null. You cannot use that with a search. This is basically looking for any time that the user field has a value to it. You can do search equals uh, search user equals star. That's the equivalent here. 
but you can't do the opposite. This has an is not null. I don't show it here, but you can also do where is null user. And that'll pull back all the places where user is null. And that does not have a search equivalent. And so you built, here's what I was mentioning about those built-in functions. Here we can do where file size is greater than a certain size. Search has the exact same thing with the star, but I just want to show if you are using a where command and you need a wildcard feature, where like, and then you put in parentheses, you put your field name comma, and then put in quotes what you're looking for and use percentages as wildcard values. And this will pull back any signatures that have crypto in them. It's not case sensitive, so capital C, lowercase c, they'll both work. Using that same concept, and you can add other things on there, like, and then maybe you need a severity is equal to high, or you can use your conditional statements. General rule of thumb, if I'm using condition statements, I'm going where greater than, less than, I'm gonna use where. Otherwise I'll use search, and sometimes, like we used here, when I want to use functions, is null, and use other derivatives of my fields. Ultimately, Splunk has gotten a lot better. Older version of Splunk, there was a big difference between where and search. Now the changes are minor, but I just wanted to bring those to your attention and help you in your Splunk journey. Thanks for tuning in to Lame Creations, Log Analysis Made Easy. If you found today's video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out on the latest tips, tools, and tutorials to boost your log analysis skills. Want to take it a step further? Become a member to support the channel and gain exclusive early access to videos and exclusive focus training. Join us on Discord where we dive even deeper, share insights, and tackle questions together. Until next time from Lame Creations, where we help you go from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.